What's going on gamers? Today we'll be going over BSL shaders. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Minecraft is a beautiful game. The varied landscapes and limitless building possibilities can make for a rich and detailed experience that can't be found anywhere else. But with all this beauty comes the stone cold truth that plagues us all. Minecraft can be very basic and stagnant. That is where shaders come into play. Not just any shaders though. Today we'll be talking about the BSL shaders, which is the ultimate choice. So BSL Shaders is a shader pack that has the primary goal of making your game look as good as possible. With high customization and optimization, you're getting real-time shadows, volumetric lighting, and more. Additional effects are available as well, such as depth of field, motion blur, specular and normal mapping, and more of that as well. With over 8 million downloads, it's easy to ask, what makes BSL so different from another shader pack? For the most part, every shader pack has similar functionality, and the colors, shading, and features implemented are what differentiates them. For BSL, the shading has a distinct yet warm color to it. The world is bright but not blinding, and you can adjust everything from the water to the clouds. We're going to be going over the steps on how to install it now. The first thing we'll need to get BSL up and running is Optifine. So go ahead and get to the Optifine download page, which is linked below. And once you're there, go to the Downloads section, which is up at the top. And you're going to see the Download button, but what you're actually going to click on is the Mirror button, because it'll take you straight to the Download section instead of any advertisements that may get in the way. Go ahead and click on the Download button. The download will begin, and if it says in the bottom left that the file can harm your computer, don't worry about it, just click keep. From there, you're going to go into downloads folder, and then click and drag the file out onto your desktop, just for ease of access. From here, you're going to click the install button. The process may take a couple of minutes, but once it's finally all good, you'll see a notification and you'll be all set. You may run into a common issue where the file won't run properly. This may be because you don't have Java installed, so head to the Java homepage. And once you're there, you're going to go ahead and click on the Java download button at the front. Next, you're going to click the agree and start free download button. And you'll see in the bottom left corner that it'll start. Once it is completely downloaded, you're going to open up the folder that it is in and you're going to double click it to launch the app. Then you're going to click the install button once it loads. And finally, once it is done downloading, you're going to see a notification that lets you know that it's done and you'll be good to open up the Optifine folder. To install the shaders, you'll first need to find the BSL file. This will also be linked in the description below, so go ahead and click on that. And what you're going to do from here is download these shaders and it should be either a zip or WinRAR file if you happen to have WinRAR. Now what you want to do from here is make sure that you have the proper version of the game that you were running with Optifine. This happens to be the latest one for me so I'm just going to hit download. That'll take you about five seconds to get the download started but once it does you'll see it down on the bottom left. Once it's in your folder, then you're gonna go ahead and open up your Minecraft and the Optifine profile, which happens to be the latest version of the game, 1.16.5. And once the game has fully loaded, you're going to go to the options section, go to video settings, then shaders, and then at the bottom, select shaders folder. And once that folder opens, you're going to click and drag the BSL folder into the new shaders pack folder and you can see it will be working in-game. Honestly, there's not much else to say. BSL shaders are super cool and you should give them the check. We talk big game, but in reality, there is no perfect shader pack. BSL shaders just happen to have a lot of customization and optimization implemented, which allows you to change the world to fit your preferences. In the end, the best product is the one that caters to the most people, right? In any case, it's what I'm running on my world. 
And that'll do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.